Hello, my beloved. How are you doing today? Are you living your best life? Are you totally enjoying who you are? Are you blossoming from inside out? Today is really your that you can shine even brighter, that you can show your true colors and that you blossom to the fullest. And today we are reading together a course in miracles and it's a lesson. Oh, it's our question 14. What am I? I am God's Son, complete and healed and whole, shining in the, in the reflection of His love. In me is His creation, sanctified and guaranteed eternal life. In me is love perfected, fear impossible and joy established without opposite. I am the holy home of God himself. I am the heaven where his love resides. I am his holy sinless itself, for in my purity abides his own. Our use for words is almost over now, yet in the final days of this one year, we gave to God together, you and I, we found a single purpose that we shared, and thus you joined with me, so what I am are you as well. The truth of what we are is not for words to speak or not, nor describe, yet we can realize our function here, and words can speak of this and teach it too. If we exemplify the words in us, we are the bringers of salvation. We accept our part as saviors of the world, which truth our joint forgiveness is redeemed. And this, our gift, is therefore given us. We look on everyone as brother and perceive all things as kindly and as good. We do not seek a function that is pa past the gate of heaven. Knowledge will return when we have done our part. We are concerned only with giving welcome to the truth. Ours are the eyes through which Christ's vision sees a word redeemed from every thought of sin. Ours are the, are the ears that hear the voice for God, proclaim the word as sinless. Ours the minds that join together as we bless the word, and from the oneness that we have attained, we call to all our brothers, asking them to share our peace and consummate our joy. We are the holy messengers of God, who speak for him and carrying his word to everyone whom he has sent to us, we learn that it is written on our hearts, and thus our minds are changed about the aim for which we came and which we seek to serve. We bring glad tidings to the Son of God who thought he suffered. Now is he redeemed. And as he sees the gate of heaven stand open before him, he will enter in and disappear into the heart of God. Lesson 351 My sinless brother is my guide to peace. My sinful brother is my guide to pain. And which I choose to see, I will behold. Who is my brother but your holy son? And, and if I see him sinful, I pro proclaim myself a sinner, not a son of God, and friendless, in a fearful world. Yet this perception is a choice I make and can relinquish. I can also see my brother sinless as your holy son. And with this choice, 
I see my sinlessness, my everlasting comforter and friend beside me and my way secure and clear. Choose them for me, my father, throughout your voice, for he alone gives judgment in your name. Lesson 351 My sinless brother is my guide to peace. My sinful brother is my guide to pain, and which I choose to see, I will behold. So, my loves, have a beautiful, amazing day. Follow your bliss, as Joseph Campbell said, to follow your heart, and just do more of what really makes you happy. Enjoy this beautiful day. Bye.